Welcome everybody, I'm Kirsty Meeky and today we're going to do butterfly nails. Pretty gorgeous spring slash summer butterflies. When do the butterflies even come out? They're out. They're out. They're out. They're out. And the bees are. Oh, and the bees. bees. And we saw a bee that was the size of a hedgehog. Yeah. yeah. Mm, flying, amazing. Yeah. Flying hedgehogs. Yeah. Flying hedgehog. It was huge. <laughs> it was, I tell you what, if it flew into you, not you over. So, Andrea's already got a set on. We filled them. She's got salon length nails. We call them salon length nails because they're wearable. And a lot of people in salon will have this kind of wearable length. Uh, if it was me, they'd be 10 foot long. But Andrea's got, got to punch them. people. She's yeah. got to punch people. I would normally have them a lot longer. I know. You? It's all right. I'm just like, you know. Giving you a little bit of grief. I'm yeah. going to wipe over with the clean up solution. Clean up solution. And what that's going to do is it's going to make sure they're clean, obviously. It's going to dehydrate them. There's going to be no bits of fluff on there. I don't know if Andrea has just sat there with her hand on her face or, you know, doing things with her hands. She might have sneakily had a pack of crisps or something like that. She didn't. But, you know, clients can do that. They'll just touch things and then you're like, Keep your hand there, don't move it ever again mm. until I've finished. Because they do, they sit there and they go, oh yeah, and they've got Foundation. the nails. Nails on the face, they touch them, they talk like here with the hands and they touch them and you're like, I've got to wipe them again. So, exactly. advice, maybe advice for the wrist. That's maybe Dragon's Den, yeah. you go Dragon's Den and invent yeah. that, I think, don't yeah. we? Definitely. I think yeah. that'll be good. Yeah. You wouldn't mind that, would you? No. Handcuff. Oh yeah, a handcuff uh, on yeah. the on the rest. Yeah, yeah, that'd do that work. How about a paralyzing injection? Yeah, bit of propofol or whatever they give yeah. you. That puts you to sleep. Um, well, that might even be oh, better. Hey, hey, <laughs> now we're talking. Hey, can you be anesthetized, please, while we do these nails? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to start with base coat. So we're using the Kirsty Mickey Gel Polish range today to create this design. And I'm going to do the base coat first. Nice and thin. So can you see how I fan the brush out? My my brush itself is not overloaded with product. We are stretching out nice and thin the base coat. The base, 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 base. It's all about the base. It's all about the base. Now travel. Right, so on these two nails, we are going to use a background colour, which is going to be Damien and is number 29 Summer? Um, yes. So we've got Summer and Damien. Damien? Oh. Damien. Your Damien. Yeah. Your husband Damien. Is he really? Yeah, the long suffering oh, Damien. Don't tell me I have a massive head. Oh, we've told him. Yeah, have you told we him? Have, yeah. yeah we've <laughs> we said we're going to do him. his tours. <laughs> Yep, Damien has got his own colour. It's in the spring collection. It's actually the best selling colour in our spring collection. Very good. <laughs> of course it is. Mm. Yeah. Mm. He says, where's my commission? <laughs> <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> so this is going to be our background colour on this nail. And then we're going to use Summer on the other nail. So nice thin application. Pop me them in the lamp. We're going to use our crushed diamond flash gel colours as well. We've got Evie and we've got Joe Darmy. Joe Darmy. Joe Darmy. Joe Darmy. Yeah. This one's Joe Darmy. This one's Evie. Pop me them out. <laughs> So with the flash gels, they are super, super sparkly and they have amazing crushed diamond flash gel particles that when they hit light, so you could be out of an evening or you could just be anywhere and as soon as some intense light hits it, it just goes like bam, super sparkly. Pop them in. So we're going to do second coat of colour 
on all the fingers. So I'm going to top coat the um, flash gels because I'm wary that they might get touched, they might get particles of dust on them, but I'm not going to top coat the two that are going to have the butterflies on because I'm going to work on that sticky layer. And pop my them in. So what I'm going to do is use these flash gels now. So we've got the EV the Jadami and we've got Yasmin and Lisa Lisa. I'm gonna pop some of that onto a palette. And then we've got these colors, which are Summer, Nanny Pam and Damien. I'm gonna put these on and then we're also going to use some Void, which is our black. I'm gonna use the Messy Nessie brush and we're gonna go in the black first of all. So I wanna roll this brush in the colour to make sure all of the product is going through those bristles and I can drag it through so I know I've not overloaded it because this is going to be quite light at first. So you don't need a lot of product on at this stage. Kind of like a tulip shape. So that's one side and then we can the other side. So it's kind of like it's flying off. So once you've mapped that out, what we're going to do is go over that again and we can just thicken up those lines a little bit, add a little bit more product so it is really quite black. We haven't cured at this stage. You could, if you want to cure it, you could cure it and just go directly over it to make it more defined, but I don't want to in case I want to like change anything because I change my mind like the wind. and do my antenna eyes. Pop me that in the lamp. I'm just going to tell you a little story about antenna eyes. Antenna eyes? <laughs> well, when my mum was young, she lived across from like a field. And in this field, they saw what they describe, this is my mum, 
um, my mum's brother, my uncle Mick, and who else was there? My dad. Yeah? So, not my dad. No, my dad wasn't there. Yeah. Who was it? There's somebody else there. Somebody from the family. They saw what they describe as an alien. So they are convinced that these aliens exist. And this alien actually looked like a giant caterpillar. Massive caterpillar. And it had these big, massive antennae. And when um, we were telling Elise, not Elise, Cassidy about it, she called them antesticles. Antesticles. <laughs> <laughs> Had these antesticles. <laughs> so it had these antesticles. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> so it's got this little butterfly, it's got antesticles. It's got antesticles on my fingers. Yeah, so the aliens apparently exist. Well, Damien's friend. Yeah. He's convinced he saw Jack Frost. Jack Frost, is that the one at the side of the Pottery Centre? <laughs> he said he was a little boy. Right. Sitting on the fence. It was really early morning, and he just ran across the field and disappeared. Really? So now what I'm doing is I'm going to make little sections. So I've just used the... Miko gel brush with a little bit of the clean up solution on to just get rid of that because I didn't want that there because I did it a little bit wrong. I do love that about gel though, you know, it's so easy to, you know, make your mistakes disappear. Mm. That's what we need. Pop that in the lab. So, what we're going to do now is fill sections with. The crushed diamond reflective gel. And we'll utilise all the colours that we've got on the palette. This is like painting by numbers. Very therapeutic to watch. Is it? Mm. And I'm kind of floating over, so I'm not wiping through the gel. I'm kind of floating. Cure those for me. So let's go into the paint. Pop that in. And we've got Lisa Lisa. And again, just using the tip of the brush to sort of glide it into position. Now, if you struggle to paint a butterfly, you could get like a stencil version on like a, if you've got a um, decal, like a water decal or a sticker of the outlines of a butterfly, you could then use your gels to go into the little sections. I think the body just needs to be black. Then the other colours that we've got, we're going to utilise them to do some detail. I think that's all it needs. Just go in the lamp and just give everything a full cure. So we're going to top coat this now to seal everything in. Pop it in the lamp. So there's the butterfly. Very nice. Very bold the colours, aren't they? It's very bold, yeah. So is that quite raised? It's a little bit raised. And you get that flash gel effect. Oh, I love it.
I do love it. Now I'm going to top coat. Now I like the fact that it's slightly raised, so I don't want to take away from that. So I'm not going to double top coat. That's what we'd normally do if we wanted to get rid of the raised part. But that can go in the lamp. Right, a bit of oil. Do you know what's getting it the best? Yeah. That purple one looks amazing. I'm just looking at the purple one, sorry. Yeah. And then we'll have to look at the butterflies. Sparkly. Sparkly butterflies. Oh, look. I love them. Do you get a macro shot of it? Yeah. Right. Oh, you want stones on, don't you? Of course. Oh, we put oil on as well. <laughs> Jesus, let's get the oil off. So I'm just buffing where the stones are gonna go because it'll just be a better adhesion for the crystal totalis. So when you put your top coat on now, make sure you kiss the sides of your stones. I always say this, kiss the sides of the stones, not physically with your lips, but with the gel polish. And that is gonna give them longevity. It's gonna protect them. So when you're out Saturday and everyone's taking photos and the flash goes on, mm -hmm. make sure you get your nails out, Jock. I will. Pop me them in the lamp. Give us your hand and we'll actually put some oil on them as well again. You know, as we take that off, don't we? Yeah. Beautiful! Beautiful butterflies! And can be done on short nails? Can be done on long nails in greater detail, but you know. <laughs> somebody has karate. <laughs> somebody will karate chop me if I carry on, so I'll just be nice. <laughs> there you are guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget, check us out on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok, all that shebang. Everything I've used today, because I know you're going to be like, oh, what, what gel was that? It's all going to be listed below. Don't forget, check us out. Um, already said that bit. <laughs> oh my God. Time for coffee. <laughs> anyway, I'll just, I'll see you next time. Ciao, duck. <laughs> <laughs> you went a bit berserk there, didn't you?